My new book, Return of the God Hypothesis, tells the story of the rise of modern science in essentially a Judeo-Christian milieu <clears throat> in a period called the, the Scientific Revolution in the 16th and 17th centuries in particular. But then how that Judeo-Christian perspective on science was kind of lost in the 19th century with the rise of Darwin's theory, Marx's uh, theories, and, uh, and Freud, figures like that. But then how a theistic perspective or the uh, theistic implications of scientific discoveries are being recovered as a result of three great discoveries that have been made since the 1920s. The first discovery being that the universe itself, a material universe, had a beginning. The second being that the universe has been finely tuned for the possibility of life from the beginning. And then thirdly, that there have been huge bursts of information into our biosphere uh, since the beginning. And those three discoveries, I argue, point not just to a designing intelligence of some kind, but instead to a designing intelligence that has the attributes that traditional theists have long ascribed to God. Transcendence, intelligence, and an action or activity within the created order. And for that reason, I call this thesis the return of the God hypothesis.